Tiger Lily squad. How are y'all? Let me get comfortable because this is going to be a talking uh, video. How are y'all doing? Welcome to Vlogmas Day. I have no idea. Um, I'm sorry I missed. I'm sorry I missed a few days, but um, there's uh, some things that have been going on, but I vowed to complete this. So uh, this, this is hard for me to uh, talk about, but I feel like it's necessary. Um, for a long, a long time, and maybe it's because like yo my dad wasn't like i don't want to use that as an excuse but i feel like there's like a missing piece and i'm not sure what it is and i seek it it's only like when i got older as i realized that i seeked it in men and friendships like something was missing you know what I mean something something is missing um and it just causes me to solely look for my happiness in others um like I I I'm I'm I've been in so many relationships that ultimately stuff have you ever seen the movie runaway bride so you know like in the movie the guy the reporter asks her all the time like what how do you like your eggs how do you like your eggs and she she always likes the eggs dependent on the person that she's with like she she if he likes poached then she likes poached the other the other fiance was like he her favorite eggs were scrambled because his fa like his favorite eggs were scrambled so with me it almost was like okay i was myself in the beginning but in order to keep you around and to not have you leave i would just um conform and ultimately not be I was still myself like I can't run from that I'm still Shay but I would just stick around and made sure that you or whoever it is were good and kind of like neglect myself um, in the long run and I noticed that that always set set me up for some sort of failure or disappointed disappointment and like i've had therapists i meditate i journal um i try to talk to people about their stuff and like i'm so easy i could easily give like advice because of all of the stuff i've been through but like when it comes to me, you know how they say ther therapists need a therapist. Um, so it's just been, I, I sit down and I just write down all my, my relationships, friendships, family, and I just go through it and I'm just like, the common denominator as to why things fail or things go awry is me and i have to be honest with myself and be like yo listen bro like what keeps happening like what switch goes off in your head that allows a person to mistreat you and you and you you keep it you keep them around or what switch goes off in your head that um makes you feel insecure uh, around certain friends and then you start like lying about like your life or not even lying but like exacerbating things to make you seem more relevant or more 
more important just so they can stick around or what in your head clicks that you feel that you're not loved enough from family so you start to like distance yourself from them so they can feel bad so they can come back in it's just like a lot of things and i just 2020 legit has had me in my feelings up and down i was just telling my mom like every single year i feel as though something bad happens and then i have to rebuild myself again and i'm just tired of that cycle you know like you you have like the same cycles that happen all the time and at one point you just have to realize and take like do some shadow work bro and my shadow work was sitting down and thinking about all this stuff that have genuinely hurt me you know like p things that i was like you know what it's fine and i just brushed it off but like have genuinely hurt me and caused me to do things and cause me to be in situations and cause me to not be living in my best life and all this type of stuff and that broke me down like broke me down to my core because a lot of things i just didn't deal with and i thought i did but i really i really didn't uh for instance my dad my father uh when i was about two three years old he left me and my mom and he never uh they were married so they let he left and um he never turned back they he didn't help or anything and my mom bless her heart she never spoke ill about him like till this day she never has spoke ill about him i mean she's told the truth when i got older like what happened but she ain't never talked bad about him you know and um i came to find out that he adopted the lady that he left my mom for he adopted her kids and neglected his own and when i found out he passed away i was like in the newspaper article there was a like, uh such and such was left by his wife and two kids such and such and i just felt like it's as if i never existed like here's a man who helped um other than that god who helped create me and he has disowned me so that kind of um started the path of like picking the wrong guy and um keeping around the wrong guy because something in me was just like missing bro like something was missing friendships i had to i came to realize that like after the two-year cusp I don't have the same friends and it's hard for me to say this crap out loud like I do have some friends who are like probably two who are past no 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 like three who are past who has been friends for years but you know like moving around in life and stuff like that there's like after the one or two year mark they are no longer in my life um some are because that's probably the best thing to be honest and two is because somehow i sabotaged it because i was insecure or i didn't feel like i was good enough to be there for like i didn't feel i was good enough i didn't feel i was good enough to be their friends And it trickles down to not just personal, but business. Because then I start to second guess myself. I sabotage my business. I just think negatively. Um, 
I feel like I'm not good enough so I won't post or I won't do things that actually make me happy and I actually want to do because I'm not getting the receipt the receivement that I want I just put in my head that I'm just not good enough and I just had a lot of reflection and this year has been such a roller coaster of just like good things and bad things and really bad things and like dope stuff happening and it's just like I was telling my mom I cannot I will not set myself up to ever be in a a situation and a feeling like this again um the last almost like the the straw that broke the camel's back happened this year um and it it has uh broken me to um Sorry. Um it has broken me to my core mainly because I just don't want to disappoint my mom, bro. And my mom, my mom and my grams like I just don't want to disappoint them. So The, in the in the in the in the tarot deck i don't know if a, a lot of people um get their tarot's read or anything like that is nothing demonic or anything like that it said that i would have a tower moment this month and when this moment happened um everything would look up from there and I would feel like my life is over, but it's not. It is just beginning, but I have to go through this tower moment. And a tower moment is usually like a big change or like something massive that happens in your life. Um, majority of the time is not anything good. It is something that makes you feel a little uncomfortable, but... Uh, this past week i went through that um and it also it also caused me to really realize how grateful i am and how blessed I am with the people that I do have in my life who are there for me and I know without a shadow of a doubt that they will continue to be during this time I can't really talk about it now uh, when it's done with you guys know I'm an open book so I'll come back on and talk about it but it just sucks that for majority of your life you put people be ahead of you and in a blink of an eye you you can get the negative sway because you because because people are just selfish primarily like it doesn't matter what what you do for people and how much you do it um if they don't appreciate you or appreciate things you do one thing to them and it just everything else gets you know either way um i just want you guys to know that uh this is 
I'm human and my, my channel has always been to express my vulnerability i'll be honest with you guys and not sugarcoat stuff because truth be told a lot of people go through stuff and they come up on here and they just want to live love and light and that's cool bro like that's cool to just be positive and just promote that but i feel like there should be like a balance um and the balance doesn't mean that you need to tell all your business but somebody might need to hear just a little piece of your story to help them out. And my channel will continue to do that, but more of it. Um, so we're, we're about to enter the new year. And I really want y'all to like just sit down and reflect bro like really reflect and don't just focus on like the bad stuff also focus on the things that you have right now like be grateful for that stuff and don't run away from the things that cause you pain and the traumatic experiences that you've had because ultimately if you deal with them bro like for real it will help you so much. Do you know how much people I wish I could contact right now and be like, yo, I'm so sorry for our experience together, friendships, relationship, whatever. Um, I, I wish there was a way that I could have prevented whatever had happened. Um, but I really want to apologize for my part. Because all you could do is take responsibility for yourself at the end of the day. You can't take responsibility for other people, which I used to do all the time. You, excuse me. You can't take responsibility for other people, nor can you put the burden of an entire situation on yourself. That's just not fair. So you just take the responsibility for yourself. Um... If you need to apologize, apologize for your doings and work on yourself and know that God, the universe or whatever you believe in will handle whoever and whatever accordingly. Don't feel, and that's a lot too, like you always feel like if things happened or something happened and another party was wrong or something like that, like why are they not getting punished or this and this but you are and it's like life just doesn't work unless you know like some magic and stuff but life just doesn't work out that way and what you just gotta learn is that you just gotta focus on you and just like making yourself better and learning from whatever situation um you encounter and um just fixing you and everything else will fall into place and and not dwelling that's a big thing that i need i had to learn it's just not like, like i'm 36 years old like legit 36 and I guess a lot of people would say that I have lived in a cocoon um, because I guess that's how my mom raised us. Um, so a lot of life lessons I didn't learn until 27, 28, like going into my 30s, like because I was, I guess, sheltered in a sense. And that's not the fault of my mom, my grandmother. That's No, that's just my life at the time. There was no reason for me to learn certain lessons. You learn lessons because you go through stuff, correct? So if I'm not going through anything, why would I learn? You know what I mean? So a lot of things I've learned later on in life, which I wish I wish I've learned I learned earlier in life but I'm still alive so every day I can learn it doesn't matter how old I am and I can 
change and uh, recreate my life that I want and uh, just be a better Shay at the end of the day. Because I think at the end of the day, I'm bomb, but I do have some things that I need to work on. Um, and majority of them come from self-esteem, you know? Uh, but when you be honest with yourself, the rest comes, the rest comes easily, kind of, um, hard work still has to play a part because you still have to be honest with yourself and actually want to change, you know, um, and want to be better and, and, and ready to welcome in good things. I think that was another issue for me. Like I would pray and, and, and try to manifest all these things, but it's like, am I really ready for it? Do I really think that I deserve good? Do I really think I deserve good? Do I really think I deserve this amazing love and a person who respects and honors me and I can travel with and um, uh, make business with and just uh, just be happy and passionate, just everything? Uh, do, do I honestly think I deserve um, friendships that uplift, we uplift each other, we travel together, we have fun, um, that doesn't consist of any form of jealousy or... Um, questioning if this is authentic. Do I really think I deserve stuff like that? Do I really think that I deserve a successful business that I created on my own and making money on my own and financially free and abundant just doing me and not having to clock in to anybody else's job and stuff? Even down to the pennies, do I really believe... I deserve to not live paycheck to paycheck and have all my bills taken care of months in advance. And um, do I honestly believe that? And a lot of times we say we want things, but do we honestly believe that we deserve it? And if we do, are, do we honestly be, do, are we honestly ready for it? And a lot of times we're not ready for it, so it just doesn't come. Um, so I just, um, as a creative, a lot of these feelings have been heightened for me because a lot of comparison, like you look at other people who do the same thing as you, um, and you see how successful they are and, um, you then you start you start questioning your worth outside of the business, um, and that's ultimately not is just not good. Um, I declare that from this video moving forward, I declare that my life will change for the better, and we will not have these situations dynamics people activities whatever continue to come into my life and affect me in such a way where sometimes i just don't even want to be here no more like that like that's cryptic but that's like i'm just being honest with y'all sometimes i just don't want to be here no more because it's just like when will it end and it's just like my mindset that 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 i had to learn is the driving factor of a lot of my decision makings, a lot of things that happen. It's just my mindset. Like we could have just wrapped this whole video up with just saying my mindset, change my mindset, change my mindset. I know this video probably sounded confusing, um, but I hope like you got some kind of something out of it. Um, I'm honestly tired of crying. I'm tired of being in a negative headspace. I'm tired of not thinking that I'm enough. I'm just, I'm literally tired of of it all. And um, with deaths uh, this year, um, like lots of deaths this year for, for me, um, the people that I knew and love um, and like business failures and money loss and struggling to pay my rent and 
having it um just just a lot bro um i'm just i'm mentally tired um and like i said my my spirituality has definitely gotten stronger um so i de i just declare i declare better times ahead um, I declare abundance, prosperity. I declare love, devotion, friendship, um, travel, health, better health. I just declare all positivity and trust God to steer my life um, because this too shall pass as with anything else. but <laughs> this video got longer than it needed to be and i'm not editing a thing okay um i love you guys so much for if you stick to the end yo you're a whole tiger lily squad gang gang for real but i love you guys so much uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we we're just advancing bro we're making our lives better like for real no more no more excuses no more of uh the bullishnizer just it just no more take responsibility for yourself and not the responsibility of others and live your life in abundance and gratitude gratitude live your life in gratitude yeah see you later tiger lilies Crash course, let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with